Hello everyone, I am Kanumani, Head of Department Nutrition Dietetics at Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Speciality Center. In this series, I am going to explain the dietary recommendation for post-COVID condition. Good nutrition is very important in any infection recovery. It is even more important in COVID recovery because of its after effects seen like loss of taste, smell, prolonged cough, reduced in muscle mass, etc. When you resume to your normal diet, start eating slowly, spread out the calories evenly throughout the day, don't overeat. During infection, you would have been advised to take easily digestible food. Post recovery, start taking the solid. Do not continue to eat soft diet as it get digested and absorbed and the glycemic index will be high. It can increase your blood sugar rapidly. Eat a fresh balanced meal, moderate in carbohydrate, moderate in fat and high in protein. The carbohydrate choices should be from complex form. It can be a whole grain millet or it can be a brown rice whole wheat flour, all in cooked form. Fat in moderation, whether it is from the healthy cooking oil or it from the nuts and oil seeds. A handful of nuts has a good beneficial effects. You can include almond, cashew, pistas and even oil seeds can be included in your daily diet. It provides zinc and other phytochemicals which helps in the speed recovery. The nutrient which need to be increased in post-COVID condition is protein. During infection, you would have lost muscle mass and these muscle mass would have lowered the immunity. So increasing the protein in your meal is very very critical in the post-COVID diet. For vegetarian, protein can be taken from dal, pulses, legumes, soya products, milk and milk products. There is a common stigma about milk and curd. When you have chest congestion or cough, it should be avoided. It is not so. Milk and curd helps in the fast recovery. For non-vegetarian, the protein sources can be from lean meat, fish, chicken, egg white. The next nutrient which need to be increased is the micronutrients like vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, phytochemicals. Start eating all seasonal fruits and vegetables which provide all these micronutrients. All colorful vegetables in the form of salad, juices, soups can be included in the regular diet. Fruits, when you have diabetes, when the blood sugar is under control, one to two servings of low calorie fruits can be included. Maintaining a good microbiota is very very important during post-COVID diet as during COVID they would have taken lot of antibiotics and heavy steroids. By incorporating fresh probiotics from curd, yogurt, all fermented foods and increasing the fiber helps to maintain and improve the gut microbiota. Over and above, good hydration is very very important in maintaining the fluid balance also to flush out the infection. As nutrition food is very important, maintaining a good food hygiene is also very important in post-COVID. What I was explaining till now is just an outline of COVID diet recommendation. It is better to have an individualized diet plan from your doctor or dietitian rather from your neighbor, friend or relative. Eat healthy, stay healthy. Thank you.